Let's take a look at the first section of the three areas that we've not covered within the magazine template setup. This is the headline section. This area allows you to show a set of headlines for selected categories and posts. The headlines are displayed in a list and a featured image can be displayed just to the left of the headline if desired. First, we need to activate the headlines area. Click on the button labeled Show Headlines. Next, we can set the title of the headline section. You can set this to whatever you want. I want this title to read Suffusion News and Updates. Now we'll set how the title will display. We can set it to show on the left, the center, or the right. I prefer to set most of my titles on the left. People tend to scan the left section of a web page with much more frequency than they do the right section. Here, we'll set the height of the headline section. The height that we set will depend on how many headlines we want to show here in this section. The larger the number, the more vertical space that will be dedicated to this area. For now, let's set this to 400 pixels just to see what it looks like. We can set the width of the headline image section here. The image will be put inside of a container of this width. When we scroll over any headline, the image will change to the image that we've associated with that headline. Here, we can change the order of preference for picking up images. If an image is not found for the first preference, the next one will be looked for. I try to set an image to display for each of my pages and posts. A featured image will more readily draw users into the pages and posts and adds a visual flavor to the content. Make sure that the images are relevant and match the content of your pages and posts. In this section, we can modify the settings of our images with scaling. For your own site, you'll have to play with these settings to see what works best for you. I usually just set this so that the image displays as the original size. If we select this, we won't have to modify any of the settings below. All of these images that I use in this section, I've created using Photoshop Elements. I create these images using a template that's 150 by 150 pixels. This gives the images a clean consistency and size on each page. In this section, we can pick categories to include in the headlines area. All of the posts that are contained in the selected categories will be shown. For now, let's just select all of them, and then we'll select the number of headlines that we want to show. Let's set this to 20, just so we can have a good look at the results. Now, let's save the settings and take a look at the web page and see how all of these settings affected the visual appearance of the page. Now that we've saved the settings, let's take a look at the page and do a side-by-side -side comparison with the settings page. So first let me scroll down to the headline section and then we're going to take a look at this page. Okay, here's what the headline section is going to look like. You can see you can hover over each individual article and it'll give you the category icon over to the side. So let's take a look. We've set it to show the headlines, so of course they're showing over here. We've set the title to show as Suffusion News and Updates, and we've set it to show on the left, and so you can see here, it says Suffusion News and Updates, and it's set on the left-hand side. If you set it to center, it would be here, and if you set it to right, it would be over here. One thing I want to note real quick is that I have set a custom style using a child theme to make this, this uh, title yellow and I've also set a style to make the background transparent. So that is a, a different subject. It's a subject called child themes and um, I'll be discussing those in a later video. So continuing down you can see that I've set the height of the headline section to 450 from the top to the bottom. The width of the headline image box is set to 225 here Next, I've chosen my image pre preference order to show the featured image first, and that is really the only image that I have set to show right now. But if you had other images specifically in your articles and documents, then you could sh you could set those to show first or second or just to uh, to fall through to the next image if one is not present. Okay, I've set all of mine to the same size as the image excerpts, so you can see here. All of the sizes are consistently 150 by 150 pixels. 
So in these settings, if you set this to custom size, you'll need to specify the custom height of the image and the custom width of the image here. I haven't done that for this tutorial. You can also set this to proportional resizing so that your images, when they're displayed over here, if you have different image sizes, it will reproportion them to make them fit in this image box. And next we've selected each of the following categories to show in our headlines. And then finally, we've set this to show the number of headlines to 20. There aren't 20 headlines showing here because I don't have 20 articles in each one of these categories at this time. So that's it for the headline section of Suffusion Theme Magazine Template. In the next video, we'll cover the excerpts area and go over all of the settings involved with the setup.